and to respond to some elements of what's gone before, I want at the outset to uh, congratulate Senator Blaney and McGregan on bringing forward the motion and their exposition of it. I want to welcome the victims' families to the gallery. Uh, I met you briefly as I came in, and our hearts go out to you, and you are very welcome, and you have all our support. I want to, uh, to thank the Minister for indicating in his speech that he will meet you, and that that process will be put in motion. And I'm, I'm delighted that that's the case. I want to acknowledge that. I want to uh, support the call of my colleague uh, from County Cavan, Senator Dermot Wilson, that for everybody uh, to come forward with information. Anybody with the slightest piece of information to please come forward with it. And indeed, to support his call and the general call for anyone in a position of leadership uh, capable of encouraging people to come forward with this inf information, to please so do. It's crucial that the information come forward, uh, and that's a vital step. I think that the Minister's meeting with the victims' families is good, and all, and the motion is good, but it really needs now the information to, to flow, and so that something can be done. And if, if the information flows, of course, something will be done uh, in the sense that bodies will be recovered and all that goes to that. I'll come back to that in a moment. I, I just would acknowledge in relation to my colleague from Cavan, I think it's fair, I think Senator Blaney referenced it anyway, that his family are very vested in this question, as is Uncle John P. Wilson, whom I served in public life within Cavan and knew very well, uh, that he was um, the first victims commissioner uh, uh, so that, that's why the family have a, a particular relationship with this question, um, and I want to acknowledge that. It's, it's obvious that nothing is more important for people than to have, and as somebody put it so eloquently to say, earlier, saying to, look, it's a shocking thing that we talk about somebody looking forward to a funeral, but nothing is, is more important to people than to gain a level of closure, to have, uh, as I think you said last year yourself in your contribution, to have a place to go, to visit their relatives, to have uh, their religious ceremonies, to have all that goes with that. That's so embedded in the human condition, it's embedded in our religion, it's very embedded in the Irish culture. It's very central to how we are and what we are. And in fact, the biggest days in our local communities at home, the biggest day of the year when it brings home people from all places to the local area is Cemetery Sunday, when people come back to visit their, their, uh, their family graves and uh, to be around family on that particular day. It's a, and that's the whole reasoning behind it. It is important. So you can imagine, as people, we all, our hearts go out to the victims' families, but our hearts go out to you, first of all, for the tragedy and the wrong that was done to your families, but also for the fact that you now have this ongoing pain of not having uh, access to the actual graves, to an actual ceremony. And we, you know, we, we can only imagine what you're going through, and there's, like, you know, there's nothing that we can say that's adequate, only that it behoves us in our job, in our end of it, to see what we can do to support you, and the Minister's meeting is an important step, and I'm glad that that's coming. But it, next important step is that those in public life who are in any position to elicit information and get you get the information that you need should so do. Um, the, um, it's it's a, a deep trauma, struggle and pain, and they do say uh, psychologists and people who understand these things a lot better than us uh, say that when trauma hits a family, it has affected the family for three generations. Well, if you, that is 
if you like, trauma as we commonly understand it, but the trauma that the victims' families experience is beyond anything that one can even imagine or contemplate. So it is a great exercise. Well done to Senator Blaney, who's a, a northern man with a, a huge interest in the all of this and his family. That uh, well done to you, Senator Blaney and Senator McGreehan, for bringing this forward, bringing it onto the floor of the chamber. And I suppose, truthfully, it should be done periodically until the last, the very last victim is recovered and that family has found comfort. There isn't a lot more that can be said. It's, it's traumatic. It's, 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 it's slightly, and you could hear it in people's reaction and speeches there. It's, it's, there's a level of trauma in, for people at the distance we're at from it. Uh, but if, if there's a level of stress and trauma at that distance, we can only attempt to imagine what it's like for those for whom it's central, for whom it's an everyday reality. So uh, we'll, uh, I think, leave it at that and just hope that some good will come out of it. Thank you.